So then, if you see, on the other hand, that existence, that existence is musical in nature, that is to say that it is not serious, it is the play. Nothingness. I might sound pretentious talking about such a topic at the ripe old age of 18, but it's a feeling I'm sure everyone can relate to for either experience or hearing about it via a friend or family member. I'm quite sure, as long as you've been on this planet long enough, that you've experienced what melancholy is, what it feels like to feel nothing. Everyone has their own definition of the term, but when it comes to emotions, it's used more as a term of indifference or more darkly, an emptiness in one's own soul. Issue is, is that we can't exactly quantify the feeling. It's so blank and devoid of any true meaning that it often goes unnoticed, and it's pushed to the side as a negative. I've found the feeling to be bothersome, as in when I'm not taking up hours of my day performing some form of fulfilling task, it will creep in like boredom, but plague my mind with ill thoughts that are often hollow and meaningless to me. By no means am I trying to be depressing or sound depressed when I say this. I'm honestly a very happy person who is content with who I am. But this advanced boredom, the feeling like my chest has a cavern inside of it that simply won't go away. It's not as if the feeling is bad, the feeling isn't good. I feel like a husk of a human being when afflicted with such an emotion, and it's nothing short of confusing. Everyone has at least felt a certain intensity of these emotions before. And this isn't to devalue your experience, but to beg the question that I'm sure you might have asked yourself. Did you deserve to feel that way? Even at the end of it all, you'll still discover that you are lost in that almost dreadful feeling. Inescapable and gripping you with all of its might, it drags on for longer than you can fathom. And for what? I can't exactly claim to have a full understanding of the way our brain works myself. Hell, I'm nothing more than a film student who records with a group of online friends to make improvised skits and jokes together. I'm not looking for reassurance when I ask about such things or remedies to the fore. I know exactly how I feel, yet I can't find the words to describe it. It just happens. An accepted part of your life that you'll experience one day. Or more if you're lucky. Nothingness isn't exactly nothing. It's the inner void within yourself that you come to accept, or in the worst case, let control you. Loosely toiling with your self-worth and reasoning for being who you are in the first place, to shackle you with tight bindings that shred away at your desires. I hope you have found it within yourself to accept that dark and empty part of who you are, and let it drive your thoughts, rather than weigh them down like a bag of bricks tied to your ankles in the endless waters of your aching mind. The pointlessness of the feeling is naught. Channel it into something you see fit. You are the main character in your own story, who gets to make their own choices and decide what's best for you. Just don't get lost in those feelings. When I begin talking about something like this, I can't really help but be nothing more than raw emotion, a lack of logic rife within my words, and I apologise for coming across as such. I want everyone to be able to understand that you aren't alone. Vapid and overused as the term may be, you are surrounded by people you can form bonds with, or those with pre-existing bonds, whether you find them online, at school, at your workplace, or even within your home. Don't lock yourself away. Try and be social. Break out from your shell. Because if there's one thing out of the plethora of silly stuff that I've learned in my time on this god-awful and forsaken platform for worldwide connections, It's how to carry myself with confidence. Not to be shy from getting out of my comfort zone and tackling things I wouldn't even have dared to do. That's all I have to say for today. Have a wonderful day and take care of yourself in this cripplingly boring time.